الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. We left off in our تفسير سورة القدر where Allah subhanahu wa taala in the beginning of the ayat or the beginning of the surah he says after Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim إن نزلناه في ليلة القدر. Verily or indeed we have sent it meaning the Quran down during the night of decree. Bin Uthaymeen, he says, Rahmatullah alayhi, he says, Anzalahu, Anzalahu Allah Ta'ala fi Laylat al-Qadr. Fama ma'na inzalahu fi Laylat al-Qadr. So he says that it uh, was revealed by Allah during the night of decree. So what is meant by being revealed during the night of decree? He said, as-sahih, because there's different aqwal in the mufassireen regarding this, but he said the, the correct, anna al-ma'naha ibtida'na, ibtida'na inzalahu fi laylatul qadr, wa laylatul qadr fi ramadhan, la shak fi hadha, wa dalil thalika, qawluhu ta'ala, شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس والبينات من الهدى والفرقان. So he says, so what is the meaning that the Quran was revealed during the night of power or during the night of decree? He said, the most correct meaning or a sahih, the meaning is that it began to be revealed during the night of decree. And that, of course, Laylat al-Qadr is in Ramadan. No doubt about that. And the evidence for this is the statement of Allah where he says, the month of Ramadan, which the Quran was revealed as a guidance, <coughs> as a guidance for mankind and a clear, uh, clarification for, for guidance and a furqan or a criterion. So this lets us know that of, uh, uh, according to the Shaykh that the Quran began to be revealed during Laylatul Qadr and Ramadan. Not that the whole Quran was revealed Laylatul Qadr. However, the Mufassirin have different aqwal, but we're not going to get into that uh, at this time. وَقَوْلُهُ تَعَالَى فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ مِنُ الْعُلَمَاءِ مَنْ قَالْ الْقَدْرِ هُوَ شَرْفِ كَمَا يَقَالْ فُلَانْ ذُو قَدْرِ عَظِيمِ أَوْ ذُو قَدْرِ كَبِيرِ The Shaykh says, and then the statement of Allah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ During the night of decree. And he said, some of the ulama, they say that this qadr, that it refers to uh, a sharf or um, like great status or great, uh, yeah, great, great status or that they're very uh, in a very, very high, very high status. And then some of the ulama, as the Sheikh says, say that what is meant by qadr is the taqdeer, meaning the decree, because what is decreed for the year to happen is decreed during the Laylatul Qadr, during the night of decree. So it's also referred to the decree. Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem which uh, affirms this meaning inna anzalnahu fi layla fi layla fi laylatil mubarak inna kunna mundirin fiha yafraqu kullu amrin hakim kullu amri hakim ay yufassal wa yubayyin so he says uh, and he mentions the evidence for that other 
statement of the ulama, the other saying of the ulama about what it means, qadr, here, <coughs> is that the where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily we have revealed during the night, the blessed night, and verily we are the warners. And during it, the affairs are uh, decided with wisdom. And then the Sheikh he explained, he said, meaning, you fussle what you bayin, that, that uh, here it means that it is uh, explained and made clear. So he said, so this is a beautiful tarjih uh, bin Uthameen made. He said that that the most correct is that it includes both of those meanings from those from those group of ulama from the uh, both aqwal of the ulama regarding this is that it includes both that that the qadr here refers to the greatness and status of this night, the blessedness of this night. And likewise, it uh, references the fact that affairs are decided during this night for the year. And he mentions things like, of course, for the year that are decided, that are decreed from who uh, giving life and those who will die, their risk or provisions, and other than this. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ And what will make you come to know what the, lay, uh, the night of decree is? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses this all throughout the Qur'an, this... I'm not sure if you refer to it as rhetorical language, <coughs> but he subhanahu wa ta'ala, out of his majesty and his divine wisdom, will pose a question in the Quran and then clarify it in the following, the, the ayat that comes after it. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا أَدْرَاكُ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ And what will make you know, come to know what the night of power is. And so another example is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكُ مَا يَوْمِ الدِّينِ ثُمَّ مَا أَدْرَاكُ مَا يَوْمِ الدِّينِ And what will make you come to know what the day of judgment is? And then what will make you know what the day of judgment is? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ in another surah, Al-Haqatu Mal-Haqqa Wa ma adraqa Mal-Haqqa So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, the, the sure reality, and this is also referring to the Day of Judgment, and what will, make you come to, what will make you come to know what the sure reality is? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another surah, Surah Al-Qari'a, Qari'a, He says, Al-Qari'atu Wa Mal-Qari'a Wa ma adraqa Mal-Qari'a Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Al Qari'ah. And what is the Qari'ah? Wa ma adraka ma al Qari'ah. So, also referring to the Day of Judgment. All of those refer to the Day of Judgment, and they all are in the same way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala presented them with a question, and then He clarified. And this is likewise with the verse we're referring to, Wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the next verse, you know, letting us know that what will make you know what this great and esteemed and uh, this night of power, this night, this night of decree when things <coughs> have been decreed, what will make you come to know about this? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Laylatul Qadr Khairum min al Shah. Khairum min al Shah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and the night of decree is better than a thousand months.
Then the Sheikh he mentions, I min al shahr laysa fihi laylatul qadr. Wa marad bi khayriyati huna thawab al amal fiha. Wa ma yanzalu Allahu ta'ala fiha min al khayr wal baraka ala hadhihi umma. So the Sheikh mentions about the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Laylatul Khadr khayrum, khayrum min alf shahr. That the day of, uh, the, the, the night of decree is better than a thousand months. He says, it means uh, better than a thousand months, which does not contain Laylatul Qadr. Because Laylatul Qadr alone, khayrum min alf shahr. It's better than a thousand months. So, this is referring to a thousand months in which uh, that, that Laylat al-Qadr is not contained therein. And then he said, and what is meant here by khayriya, by the, the goodness of this, is the reward for the deeds uh, that are done during this time. And what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, has given from goodness and blessings and reward for this nation, for this ummah. And this is why the Prophet wasallam said what it means, and the Shaykh says, وَلِذَلِكَ كَانَ مَنْ قَامَهَا إِيمَانًا وَالْإِحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمِ مِذِنْبِ And that's similar to the left or the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in which he said in an authentic hadith about the one who uh, who stands or the one who is performing ibadah with full iman and knowing that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will reward them expecting reward from their Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that Allah will forgive them for what they did for their previous sins. So it's an expiation for sins. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tanzilul Malaika Waruhu Fiha that the angels and the spirit referring to Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam descend therein by the permission of their Lord for every matter. So, <coughs> the angels, they descend to perform the duties Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed for them. And this also takes place on Laylatul Qadr. And this is a time of, 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 of barakah and khayr. بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ And this is with the, by the permission of, uh, of, of their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to carry out the affairs that Allah has prescribed for them. And the Shaykh mentions, he said, لِأَنَّ إِذْنِ اللَّهِ أَيْ أَمْرِهِ يَنْقَسَمِ الْكِسْمَيْنِ He says, that the affairs that are mentioned here are divided into two types or two divisions. Idhin qawni wa idhin shar'i. Idhin qawni meaning uh, the general decree and pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning that everything will happen by His will, even things that He subhanahu wa ta'ala does not, uh, is not pleased with. That doesn't go against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's will. He willed it subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, this is what you say, refer to the Qadr Kawniya uh, versus the Qadr Shari'ya. So the Kawniya happens that everything is by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything, whether good or bad, khayrihi wa shar. Just like we believe in the six pillars of Iman, the Prophet ﷺ said, 
when asked about iman in tu'mina billahi wal malaikati wal kutubihi wa rasulihi wal yawm al akhir wa tu'mina bi qadri khayrihi wa sharri that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned the six pillars of iman and the sixth pillar being the night uh, i mean the the decree the divine destiny allah's decree the good and the bad of it <coughs> so in in contained there as the ulama mentioned that part of that is the qadr or the uh, uh, koni, which is everything, contained everything. So the fact that someone disbelieves in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is by the permission of Allah, because it could not have happened without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's permission, even tragedies and travesties. However, the fact that they disbelieve, that's because Allah gives them the benefit of free will. And at the same time, they're doing something displeasing to Allah, shar'in. Something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shar'in, is, is, is displeased with. So this is uh, hopefully a clarification of the difference between idhan koni wa idhan shar'i. So the idhan shar'i is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed by His permission, but they are things that are pleasing to Him Meaning things in accordance with the shara, according in accordance with Islam. The fact that you believe in Allah, the fact that you do righteous deeds, the fact that you uh, cherish your mother, the fact that you spend in sadaqah, the fact that you stand in the night in prayer, the fact that you're smiling and kind with, with people. But the koni, this refers to everything that, that takes place. The, the Muslims were massacred in such and such battle. Uh, such and such took place. Uh, some shayateen from, from men and jinn did such and such. So and so did a bid'ah. So and so, you know, whatever. The sinful thing, the things that Allah does not, is not pleased with in the shara. That is, the, the refers to the kon, konia. Whereas the shara'iya refers to the decree in, that's in accordance with the sharia, accordance with what those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. And we'll end there, and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct is from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect is from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.